Okay, and I think we're back. We're here at Florida Eye Institute, our aesthetics department, and we are doing a live demonstration of microneedling with PRP, which stands for platelet-rich plasma. This is Sarah Beth Kennedy. Roberts. Kennedy Roberts, who is our esthetician who performs a procedure. And this is our lovely patient, Sharon. And so Sarah Beth, tell us, what are, you, what are you doing right here? So I'm just going over her skin with a microneedling pen. And it's kind of like a stamp of needles and it creates a controlled wound in the skin. And I just go over her skin like this and Let's the body see. responds by creating collagen and elastin. So it looks like it might be just getting a little pink is all. Yeah, and sometimes there's How's that feel for you, blood. Sharon? I'm feeling fine. You know, I, I have numbed with the cream. Mm -hmm. And, um, it, you know, you feel a little pressure on your skin. Mm -hmm. um, a little pinch or tingling, but not pain. I've heard people describe it as maybe a stinging, like kind of a sunburn type of feeling. Is that how you would? Yeah, like if you had a sunburn and then the sun was shining on your skin, that would stink. <laughs> An yeah. unrelenting sunburn. <laughs> yeah. So, but still, it just, you get a little pink there over that area that Sarah Beth is treating. Let me come around here and see that angle so a bit better. So, I go better. over each area several times, and I keep applying the plasma. Mm -hmm. And now tell us a little bit about the plasma, Sarah Beth. Well, how... How do it we get? How do you get that? Um, they draw the blood and they spin it down, and it contains a lot of stem cells. Which, hmm. um, when you're creating a controlled wound, it helps the body heal, mm -hmm. and the response is it tightens up where you have wrinkles. It helps with discoloration. Uh, it can also help with stretch marks and um, scars. So really you could do this on any, any part, part of, of the, the body, body the yes. microneedling part. Yes. And um, the, the serum, the platelet-rich plasma, is that a big deal to get that or it, it spin is not. that out? It's just like having your blood drawn. Oh. Um, the same thing. You come and get your blood drawn and there's very... There's no risk of allergic reaction because it's the patient's own blood products. Right. And that's why they sometimes refer to this as a um, vampire facial. I know it sounds scary, but it's it's really not. You're just Yeah, it using... sounds kind of dramatic, and this really doesn't look dramatic. It no. doesn't look bloody or it isn't. Uh, red even. She's trying the slightest bit of and pink. As you can see, she's numbed before she came in here. We uh -huh. prepped, we washed her face, we prepped her, and she's very, very comfortable. So we have them numb with a lidocaine cream before. Mm -hmm. For how long do they have to do that? Uh, maybe about an hour. Sharon, and was that about how long you had that on? I started, uh, I've been starting about an hour and a half. Uh-huh. Just for that one extra layer that you uh, apply. Because you have done this procedure before, is that right? I have. This I, is our fifth treatment. Her fifth treatment, okay. Well, and your skin is beautiful. Thank you. And as you can see, I can get very close to the eye area, mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot of people's problem area where they have wrinkles and crow's feet. Sure. Um, you can really get up in this area, and it will tighten up. Uh, your body will produce collagen and elastin in response hmm. to this. That's great. And Sharon, have you noticed, since this is your fifth treatment, did you notice a difference after your first treatment or so? The biggest difference that I've been noticing is um, the brown spots that we all get from getting too much sun. Right. And this has definitely lightened those. And um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Brown? Oh, and pores. It's really, um, I have an area on my face that I have large pores. And this has also helped that around my nose area. Mm -hmm. it's so it's minimized nose. your pores. Yes. Gives you that nice, smooth, rosy complexion. So there we've completed the cheek area. Okay. And what we're going to do here during this demonstration is treat half, treat one side of Sharon's face. 
and then we're going to have her sit up for a minute so that uh, the people who are watching can see the difference and what the treated side versus the untreated side looks like. And like you can probably see here in the demonstration, she is just slightly pink and rosy again like a sunburn. How are you feeling now, Sharon, about the same? Or is it yeah, more or less uncomfortable? Or No, um, the, the cream really works well. Really does the job. Yeah, the Good. I think cream. that's the secret, right? It's the secret. <laughs> that's yes, the you secret. Definitely but, want to have that on board. That is a, a, a big part of it. But the plasma that you put on my face. Yeah, you can see how that moistens yes. and then probably really helps the uh, pen microneedling device Slide. kind of glide over your skin. Yes. Yeah. And while it's doing that, is Karina, how, how deep are the... Uh, the needles? The needles. Um, it's two millimeters. Two. I can set the dial um, to varying depths, but mm -hmm. for most people I use a two millimeters. And that's really deep enough. It's, it's superficial, but it's deep enough to get the body to produce um, collagen and elastin. Mm -hmm. And then also to have this serum penetrate into her skin. Is right. that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And those little holes, they close up pretty quickly. Right. Um, within. Well, know. right. I wouldn't imagine you'd want to yeah. go deeper than that because no. we really don't want to see active active bleeding uh, on the on the skin because then you really could create a bit of a wound that could scab or scar and so this this procedure I think it most people have said is very very easy it is. to have it done and they might look a little red immediately afterwards but very then how, how long does that last for you Sharon when you have this done how long does the redness last um, well I I would say I feel free of the redness by the next morning uh-huh I don't I usually don't plan on going anywhere after the treatment, right. only because Sarah Beth also leaves me with all the plasma on my face. Right. And that stays and You just kind of want to go, yeah, relax and certainly stay out of the elements or the sun. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then Sarah Beth, <clears throat> tell us about what is the recommended treatment and what should she do afterwards? Um, afterwards definitely stay out of the sun mm -hmm. and we recommend um, not putting anything on your face for the rest of the day mm -hmm. um, the next day well you could wash your face right before you go to bed mm -hmm. and then the next day um, you would just apply sunscreen we, we like you to stay away from heavy um, exfoliants anything that might irritate the skin retin-a right so if you are on a certain type of skincare regimen, maybe stop that for a yes, few days. Yes, absolutely, because mm -hmm. um, you want to wait until you're totally healed before you resume. Yeah, just use a gentle cleanser. Yes, but when you do resume, I think you'll find that all of those things work better. Right, I would imagine so, because you now have uh, eliminated some of that dead skin cells off of the outer layer of the skin and to allow products to penetrate a little more effectively. Yes, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. So how are you doing there, Sharon? Everything good, still good? We yeah. are yeah. almost we'll see, and we're still complete. using her plasma, and we yeah. have quite a bit left over in that little cup, that little green cup that you might see over there. That's so, to treat the other side of her face. Mm -hmm. So the plasma, the when she comes and has her blood drawn, it, it definitely gives us enough product to treat the entire face and neck and even the decollete is that right, right? yes Sarah? it just depends on how much we're using mm -hmm. and at the end usually I try to go over any problem areas the client might be concerned about maybe mm -hmm. crow's feet maybe around the mouth um, mm -hmm. we can treat the lips mm -hmm. um, we treated Sharon's lips right before we started today mm -hmm. um, so that's the beauty of it we can really treat, treat any anywhere mm -hmm. and now you said earlier that it, this treatment also can be effective for um, for cellulite, did you say, or scars, um, or what? Stretch marks. Stretch marks, okay. Stretch marks, but you will probably um, need to do at least five to eight treatments to see results, so that's a longer result time. Right. Um, <laughs> wrinkles and um, hyperpigmentation, you can see the results a little bit sooner. And how often, so sh this is Sharon's fifth treatment. Mm -hmm. um, how often did 
did she wait in between treatments? Every two weeks. So two she weeks. did okay. four treatments. Um, every every two weeks she did um, a treatment for four times. Okay. And then this is her second package of four. So we okay. recommend after you do the initial four, you come mm-hmm. back every month or two to keep um, keep everything fresh. Mm-hmm. So there we are. We're finished with this side of her face. Um, okay. So I'm going to have her sit up, and you can take a look at the difference. All right. We'll do that and <laughs> get you all get you all settled. I'm gonna move right over here in front of you, Sharon, so that people can see. Yes, I think people can see definitely that the left side of your face is uh, pink. You know, even looks a little bit sunburned, wouldn't you say? And how do you feel? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> why don't you just uh, take a second and explain why you've why you're so happy with this treatment and the fact that you have done uh, four before this one, clearly you saw some result or you liked what it did for your skin. I have seen results and uh, what I, the reason I've been liking it so much, the main reason is because I'm using my own substance from my own body Mm -hmm. and um, it's not like having a major surgical treatment. Right. Um, I would not want No, this seems very that. easy. I mean, we did half of your face in about 15 minutes, I yeah. think, right? <laughs> I just think it's a, it's a good way to try and maintain and help myself along the way. Keep, you keep know? your skin um, healthy and radiant yeah. looking. And what we'll have to do, Sharon, is show some um, after pictures of you after uh, a week or so. And we'll post some of those on Facebook too so people can see how lovely your skin looks afterwards. So, And, and I do have to say, I, I do get a lot of compliments on my skin. Yeah. Well, it's it's lovely. Really Thank good. You. Let's see sure glowing here. And this is Sarah Beth in the back. Hi, and Beth, what are you of? <laughs> and if anyone has any questions, just give us a call. Our aesthetic coordinator is Mila Carlson, and you can call her at 772-569-9500, and she's at extension 128, and she'll be glad to talk to you about this procedure and uh, have you come in and evaluate your skin. And... That would be great. Or visit our website at www.fly.com. We've got some new information about the microneedling procedure on there. So I think we're going to go ahead and sign off. Does that okay. sound good? So yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks so, and thanks so much, Sharon. We're going to finish the rest of your face now. <laughs> thanks. Bye-bye.